Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and today I'm doing a follow-up video that I've done in the past. I've actually done it a couple of times, but I wanted to actually talk a little bit about the importance of when you're adding team members in QuickBooks Online Accountant. One of the most important considerations, now before we jump in, I ask if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and sharing it with others, please go ahead and do so or at the very least click on the notification bell so that way you can be notified of any new videos that I put out. My goal is to put out one new video per week on QuickBooks related content geared mostly toward accountant users, but anyone that has found any kind of value in any of the content that I create, well, you're welcome to join us as well. Now with that said, as you can see, we're in a practice realm and we have the page on the team page and so as you can see, I've got a lot of team members listed here and I've got their emails obscured for obvious reasons, but let's go over here to where you add a user and I'm not actually going to fill out this form, but one of the things I wanted to make sure that I set up the scene for you. A lot of team members are invited into a team's realm with the company assigned email address. The problem with that is, is that each team member has in most cases their own quickbooks online accountant portal which is real important for them if they want to get their certifications and as a firm owner you want to make sure that they're getting their certifications so what i suggest that you do is that when you are adding team members to your firm make sure you use whatever address the email address that they have tied to their own Pro Advisor account. So that way you can monitor their certifications on that. So let's go back and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you go back here, you can actually click on the certifications tab. And that way you can see all the certifications that your team members have. And you can actually click on this to see what Michelle is currently certified on as far as what she has in, in the expiration dates. Now, you can actually assign them the account through your firm, but what happens if they leave your employee? Well, the QuickBooks Online account credential is not firm owned. So you'll be doing them this service if you put it underneath their company's email address. Make sure you use the Intuit ID that they have assigned to them. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Y'all take care. We will see y'all very soon and have a great rest of your week.